just thought I'd let you have a look at the garden in September. Everything's getting to the finish now, but it's been quite nice this summer. Those tall ones there are oil seed, and I'm not sure if the seeds actually came out of uh, some bird feed that we were using. That is a, a sunflower, and that's definitely come out of the bird feeders. We've got quite a lot of um, calendula. I like these ones with the dark kind itself, they're nice. And if we look down here, we'll see one of the spent seed heads there. We could collect those and use them for next year. I have uh, I've got some dahlias around the back of there. That compost bin's going next year. We're going to put a water book there instead. And you can see the uh, small apple tree. Quite a lot of fir ferns. This is a nice fern. I really like this one. And if you look at the back of the leaves now, it's got all the spores on the seeds that we could we could collect if we wanted to any more to come. But sometimes you just get small plantlets at the base that you could could use. This. Fern. This this has got all the spores on the back now. Same thing. But this is a quite a shady corner. Is this one? So ferns are all right there. This oster's got too big this year. We're going to cut that down to about quarter of the size. Ready for next year. We've got a lot of mombrisha in the garden. This is this is a different hoster here, this one. This is a nice one. Got a lot of different shades of green on the leaves. Pink geranium. It's a nice one, a good well, it's flowers all year round, isn't it? Really reliable thing. This pink daily has been lovely this year. It's had loads of flowers on. Of course, it's getting past its best now. And that's a new plant, but it's a lot of buds. I don't know if they'll all come out or, or whatever. Umbrasia. There's the new garden bench I got off eBay. So okay, and down the bottom there I've got some red roses and oxide daisies, white dahlias, they've been nice, porch there, new kitchen, well it's my new uh, shower room window is that, with the frosted glass in, that, that bench is getting a bit past its best, we've got uh, hydrangea, Come up this side there, blue a uh, blue geranium, Jolson blue, I think the name of those is. Now this is a new plant and you can see it's just coming out. This is its first year. Helenium. You see it has lots of buds on and I, I hope they're all gonna come out because it looks nice. Cedar Mortem Joy, Ron cut that down earlier on and it's made it a lot better, a lot more compact. Eutenia, the with the red tinges on the leaves there. There's my hellebores, they flowered for the first time last winter. I hope they're going to come again. This time we've got uh, daylilies. These are all the seeds on the lupins. That's gallery red lupin. You see that's got quite a few new flowers. On, but whether or not they'll come out, it's getting a bit late for them now. But uh, this area has been quite nice, but it didn't get going till late on. That was the only thing. Those tall violas are nice there, and I love these. Uh, I love these orange calendulas. Have some sweet peas and things up the top, but. 
Anyway, that's how my garden's looking in September. What about you? How's your garden?